All right, what's going on, y'all? Hey, look, listen. If your body ain't getting home ready and it's almost spring, nigga, you need to watch this video. Because I'm about to tell you what the fuck I'm about to be eating. So if you don't know what the fuck you about to eat, I'm about to show you what the fuck I'm going to eat. Throw in the intro for the house. Tree to the left. Now I got to scroll on my phone just to the left. Just a little slight turn. We do it all day. Little Google lady, you know I hate you, but I ain't going to talk about you. No. All right, what's up, man? So, listen. Your belly hanging all out. Uh, 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 you didn't let your niggas take y'all out to get liquor all up in you. Uh, you didn't let these hoes talk you into going to Valentine's dinner. Uh, you didn't let just everybody fuck with your body by getting you to do something that led to you eating some meat, some unprocessed foods, and not just a little meat. I ain't talking about that. That's cool. But, Nigga, you ate a full two plates of steak. Talking about some medium rare. Because you was feeling yourself. Trying to impress a bitch. Look at me. I can I can pay for medium rare steak. Or rare steak. How are y'all niggas eat it? Listen. You need to get your shit together, man. So I'm about to help you get your shit together. That's just what I'm finna do. Okay? So... Just listen to the things that I eat, okay? So, let me break down the ratio. And let me just break this down. When you start eating right, and you start eating clean, you don't have to count your damn calories. That's when you over there doing, if it fits your macros, and uh, you eating Pop-Tarts, and you, you just eating a whole bunch of artificial foods, okay? Let's get that shit straight. Um... Second point, um, let's just get into the foods. I forgot my second point. So, this is what you want to eat if you want to fill in your muscles and add curvature to your body. Because a lot of people they be running around with a skinny fat look, so you're not really heavy, but you look fat. You know what I'm saying? You could be sitting at 150 as a as a man, but you you real frail and your your mid section, your mid body just has a lot of uh it looks fat and flabby. You know what I'm saying? A lot of women kind of get that action going too. So I'm gonna just tell you uh the foods that help fill in your muscles because your muscles are uh, it's like a balloon. You can think of it. It fills up with glycogen. When your glycogen is low. They start to lose their size and your body starts to break it down through the process of glico gluconeogenesis. Okay? So you want to eat a lot of carbs. A lot of good clean carbs. So yams, sweet potatoes, um, get you some red potatoes. Those are the best potatoes that you want to stick with. Okay? Um, what you can use to cook them up with, get you some, uh, coconut oil, okay? So, if you're gonna cook it, um, like on the stove top, use your coconut oil. You're gonna make a mashed potato, like, nigga, I'm finna go make some, uh, some mashed sweet potato, yeah, some smashed, uh, sweet potato. So, I'm gonna get my coconut oil, I already got some at the crib, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, uh, getting ready. Getting ready. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead, you boil up or you throw the potato in the microwave to soften it up, right? And then, once you got that bad boy softened up, you can skew the, uh, you can skin it before or after, uh, but you get that skin up off of there, and then you mash it up, okay? And then you throw some, uh, coconut oil on top of it and you, you mix that in with it go ahead and get you some uh, cane sugar you can mix that into it to taste okay this is going to be a complex carb and then you got the simple sugars in there too so it ain't going to be messing with your blood sugars and everything okay it's going to be nice and smooth 
and relax. Okay? So niggas ain't got to get diabetes out this bitch. Okay? So potatoes. So after that is your fruits. The first thing you want to eat when you wake up is your fruits. I like to do watermelons, mangoes, um, bananas. Usually bananas is not the most hydrating uh, fruit. So I usually, if I if, if my options are bananas, I'm going to do a banana smoothie with an avocado or something. Because them two fruits ain't really hydrating. Um, they're, mo they're mostly fillers. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of calories in there. Um, strawberries honeydew melons you got different varieties you got golden honeydews you got regular honeydews the regular honeydews usually ain't too sweet um so it's kind of like digging for gold for that one but your golden honeydews is where it's at they got seeds in there too um you got those if you can handle eating rice i would go ahead and get some jasmine rice organic um you got wild rice you know what I'm saying? Um, those are probably your best rices. I wouldn't do too much brown rice because brown rice can uh, cause inflammation in your gut. Okay, a lot of wheat causes inflammation. You know what I'm saying? That's why my first choice for complex carbs is going to be the potato. It doesn't really have too many uh, glutens and uh, phyto acids and things like that. So that's why I, I stick with that. But if your body can handle the rice, go ahead for that. Another thing I also like is quinoa. Okay? So basically, you got those types of uh, foods. A lot of nutrients, a lot of uh, vitamins, and your macro, uh, not macro, micronutrients. Because that's what a lot of people be missing. Okay? Uh, you're going to notice... You can eat a lot of these foods, but it's not a lot of calories. You gonna be, don't like freak out about that because it has a lot of nutrition. Once your body starts getting nutrition from the foods and everything, you're not gonna be as hungry as you was eating a whole box of honey buns and still being hungry an hour later. Okay, so do those things and always uh, have a gallon of water next to you. I'm not saying that you have to drink the whole thing because since you're going to be eating like this, you're not really uh, going to be as thirsty. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to force yourself to drink it. But you don't want to be in a situation when you ain't got no water and you're thirsty and you say, man, I, I just got to keep it pushing. Just always keep some water next to you. You might as well go ahead and keep a gallon because it's cheaper to keep a gallon next to you than a whole case of waters. Okay? It's better on the environment, my nigga. Um, but yeah, those types of, uh, foods won't sit in your gut. They help fill in your muscles with glycogen and with hydration and also oxygen. Okay. So basically it fill you up with life. You're going to notice that you're going to be feeling a lot more stronger. So you, um, when you do go to the gym, you can put in work either on your body weight exercises or if you like to do bench press squats deadlifts and things like that um i usually do a mixture of both if i'm going to the gym but y'all know me i'm always talking about body weight and everything like i like to do lunges if i'm doing legs uh, i do deadlifts um pull-ups and dips you know what i'm saying if you don't you can't go to the gym right now i would go to walmart and get one of them pull-up things that you put in the door okay those work too and you can put it on the floor and you can do uh neutral grip uh push-ups and that's almost kind of like doing a different version of a dip it puts real a lot of uh, tension on your chest so if you mix those two together you're gonna be looking whole ready out here you know what i'm saying so i'm not gonna drag this on drag this out too much longer that's what it is okay ain't no mystery to this those the foods right there. You see what I'm saying? Get your coconut oil. Have some cane sugar. Uh, grab some Himalayan pink salt as your salt. Um, it's very good salt. It's it's very good, very good salt. So go ahead and use that. You can find that at Walmart. 
um, keep those things on deck. Guacamole is another good one. You can have right before bed. Um, I'm not going to say the recipe. I, I'm thinking about some things with that. Some business moves, you know what I'm saying? But if you got any questions about what I said, if you got some other foods that you're not too sure about, just go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And we'll get to you so you can get some hoes. You did. But um, don't forget to like this video. Comment, subscribe. Check out the description box. See if you like something that you may want to start. Okay. And don't forget to holler at your boy. When you see a nigga in Walmart. Hey, man. Y'all stay tuned. Peace.